So you're looking at it through the lens of being a SOC manager. I mean, did you uh, end up interviewing other analysts? Did you kind of dial back to the days as an analyst yourself? Absolutely, both of those things. Um, I remember pretty vividly like what my struggles were, you know, coming into that job, just kind of understanding like what each bit of data was and what it could tell me, uh, mm -hmm. where it was coming from, how it was formatted. And that's all stuff that I definitely wanted to write into the course. And I, I guess, been talking to analysts along the way. As I'd been flying around and teaching various places, I always uh, tried to pay particular attention to people who were newer analysts and say, like, what are you struggling with? What is it that you want to learn more about? And uh, what do you think would make you better? And so I talked to a lot of people in that respect. And I also asked them what they didn't like about the job, which is what gave birth to some of the other contents. In, in the course about making the job more pleasant because, uh, you know, SOC analyst tier one type stuff uh, sometimes gets a bad rap. And so um, I had run the SOC at GSK in a certain way and, and the other SOCs as well. We all kind of worked together. Uh, we had all kind of done the same thing as we were analysts first and then we became SOC managers. And so we knew what we did and did not like about the job and tried to make sure that, you know, the new folks that were coming in, were not having to deal with those same issues. and. Uh, brought that kind of, you know, experience into it as well.